This is the come up show where that feel good music lives, real recognized. Real. We're here at the University of Western Ontario. Please introduce yourself, sir. Hi, my name is Kanye West, and I'm sorry. Oh. Alright, here's what I want y'all to do. Check it out now. Throw your hands in the air and wave them like you just down here. And if you're down to rap, well, then you're ready to back. Somebody say, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This blog post, you, you compare Greek pantheon uh, into how gods, how the gods, like, gods to celebrities like the Kanye West and uh, Taylor Swift and you, you're using the article how they're like like Greek gods can you explain that you know just the idea of uh, demigodism which is the idea that when you have superpowers or you're talented people worship you you know it's hard like you go I go out to go to the car and people are like I love you chaos and if you take that in not as the entertainment part and you start to believe that you can start to think of yourself as higher than other people it's okay to have confidence and to you know be talented but you don't want to start thinking of yourself as a god in that way um, because you know you, you know because then you have to make people keep believing in you and I think that's the thing about gods is that if you think that you're greater than people, then you keep doing things to, to make them know you keep existing. And sometimes it's your, your time is your time. You don't want to keep doing publicity stunts just so people like you. Like, are you addicted to that? I think we got to watch that as musicians and just let it go, you know? God bless this planet, planet. Took life for granted, granted. This mic mechanic will panic. I hold it single-handed. Time's like a left. TV and music has become almost like you can make fun of the people that you like. Whereas when I was growing up, you did, people were cool. There were cool musicians that you like Rakim. You didn't make fun of Rakim. You just listened, you know? I just think that music and art entertainment is getting a bit too jokey. Not that it should be serious all the time, but there should be some seriousness to the skill level of the people and intelligence to the artists that people like, at least me. Um, and I've always been like that since a kid. I could like, you know, Bismarcky, but I also like, you know, poor righteous teachers, you know. I'm not saying it has to be one way. I just wish there was more of a host of different types of talent than just the ones that were that had some scandal to them or the way that you'd laugh at or that it was a publicity stunt, you know? You know, like Karis like Karis once said on the radio like ten years ago, he was like, Okay, if a rapper's a, if if you're a DJ, play a commercial record, but then play an underground record, but then play a funny record, but then play a serious record. Don't just play the same type of records with the same music. M music sometimes has a novelty to it that people just want the same thing all the time and they use the music but they don't love the music, you know? Four, three, two, one. And on this tweet, you were drinking some champagne. You said this champagne is good. It's making me think uh, think things like the public will never understand the sacrifice artists make to remain pure. Cheers. Yeah, because me and my boy were talking about that, and he's he's always my boy's always trying to tell me to be more commercial. He's like, you know. You're so underground. You just see all these things all the time, and people are scared of you, and you need to be more commercial. I'm like, why do you think that is? And he said that to me. He's like, you sacrifice so much. And that's what made me think, wow, you know what? The public will never really know that. And you think that they should know that, and you feel that they know that, but they don't. They're just there to listen to music. You had that glance, yo. You used to hang out in the park and just chill. You know, let this, there's, if you want to make jingles, then go make jingles, but that's not what I do. And so... Sometimes people say, well, that's the new record label. And I'm like, not really for me, you know what I mean? But I'm not dissing anyone that does it. Some people don't have these types of, uh, these, these morals to live up to. I do. It comes from my father, and I try to stick to them. Close your eyes and imagine, feel the magic. Vegas on acid, sing through East St. Laurent glasses. Uh, this is on your blog, actually. This is the only one. We say Kanye West, I'm a fan of, or shall I say, I have become a fan of. He reminds me of one of my favorite uh, childhood TV heroes, the Six Million Dollar Man, or Steve Austin. Right. Um, I was watching Steve Austin, the TV show, and it was like better, stronger, faster. And I was like, this is crazy. This is like Kanye West also had an accident, got restructured, and like he used to talk about that in his raps, how he's like, you know, he, he cheated death and all this stuff. And just the way Kanye West asked, he, the way he presents himself sometimes, it's like he's indestructible. Like, and he almost has a kind of robot 
thing to him. You don't whether know if he's crazy or is he super smart or is he intriguing or is he dumb. I don't know who the, do they take his brain out or give him a super brain. I don't know. But the whole point about it is he's definitely someone to watch. Q-Tip, he's one of the most influential rappers, rappers of our generation. Many of us took from him in some way, shape, or form. He's a visionary. How did he influence you? Uh, Q-Tip was the first rapper that I think um, sang or did really melodical things in music. And so when I was a kid and I heard him singing, I thought I, he's kind of the guy that made me see that I could rap. Like, because I had a similar voice. It wasn't my voice wasn't really low or angry. It was kind of boyish, and I think Q-Tip always had that kind of boyish, there's a humility to his voice. Q-Tip just kind of stuck out as somebody that I could actually kind of emulate. And he got me, he's actually the first rapper I heard that let me feel like I could rap. Yeah. So that's why I said that. And I think sometimes when you get to be better, a lot of people have heroes, and then they get good and they forget about their heroes, or they start not giving their heroes props. But I think people should, rappers should, once they evolve, actually tell the public who they took from so that the public knows. I feel it's a good thing to do that, you know? So the Anchorman mixtape you dropped this a few months ago. Well, that was the mixtape I made when I was on the road with Drake. So I made it in the back seat of my, in the back lounge of my bus. All that material was that. It was really Oliver, who's Drake's good friend in OVO. He's the one that said, man, don't tell me you're not making music on this bus. Like, you must be so inspired right now. You should do a new mixtape. He told me that. So Oliver, you know, anyone who knows him, big shot to him. And Drake supported it too when I told him. So it was, it's, it's good to hang around those guys and be influenced by the younger dudes because sometimes they're heirs to the ground and they're not so set in their ways and they can shed light on a lot of things. Is there anything else that you wanted to say to the people out there? I would like to say that I love Western University and um, that girl right there is kind of hot. <laughs> But, uh, you know, I also want to say that I love music very much and um, I love the fact that music is free. but support artists still because, you know, it takes money to make money. And, um, you know, I stole, therefore I'll be stolen from, which means that it's okay to, to download music, but also support when you can. And, uh, you know, Canada, between Justin Bieber and Arcade Fire, and Drake Canada's killing everybody. Do not come to our border and do murderation, okay? Buh, buh, buh. This is the come up show where that feel good music lives, real recognize, real doubt. Check it out, here we go. I've been on the run, the shadow ways of black. It's starting to make sense to me. I can't really make you love me. No, no, you know I can't really make you love me. Don't get it done, I'm on the run. Get to stepping, your tongue is like a weapon This is Kevin from heaven and yet So are ye, since the age of 17 I've been taking part microphones You've been taking part men you've grown And throwing skeleton bones in the closet Animal strife, curious poses They feel the heat between us But you need a woman, glorious Steiner And diamond defeat us, carry my fetus I'm like the man in the moon When we kiss, then you swoon on the ground